this. So, um, I think I shared a little bit with you guys. I got, uh, the, um, chairs for the pool. That was kind of like my big Christmas present because those were a little pricey. Um, and then Devin got me the Drew Barrymore pots and pans that I had been wanting. I meant to put some earrings on and I forgot. Um, what else? I'm trying to remember because you guys know my birthday's in uh, December too. So I'm trying to remember what I got for Christmas and not my birthday because it like all kinds of kind of runs together. Um, Verst sent me this little thing that you keep in the refrigerator. Hey, this thing feels so good. You get your nails done, but no groceries. What is this chick talking about? I know I need to make them beef tips again. He thought those were so good. There are some crazies on here today on TikTok. Thank you. I just put on something comfortable and cozy. And I can link these tank tops. Let me do that. I'm going to link these tank tops real quick. Because I'm obsessed with them. Um, and I'm also going to link the lip that I'm going to be using. Because it's from Tarte. I'm going to link the LYS stick that I'm going to use. Um, Pixie blush. Let's see. And then those of you who are watching on Facebook, um, those links that are in the caption are any of the savings that we have going on right now with Unique. Okay, and there's the tank top. I think that's it. I think that's all I can link right now. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I linked uh, these tank tops. These are my favorite. I love these. I don't ever wear a bra anymore. FYI. I wear these tank tops. They're so good. Um, and she has all different kinds, too. I have basically all of them. But, um, and then I linked the blushes I'm going to use and the lip combo. Because this is my new favorite lip combo. And I love this bronze and stick. That's viral right now. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah. Everything else is unique. Well, unique or I can't link it. Someone above was asking for help them with groceries. Oh, I didn't see that. I have no idea what they're talking about, Rachel. No idea. Watching from Kentucky. Happy New Year, Elizabeth. Okay, first and foremost, let's do some rose water. This is on sale right now from Unique. Let me fix my Facebook. Um, during the month of January, we are doing a skincare special, which never happens. Skincare never goes on sale ever. Um, and this rose water is included. You can get three products for 15% off or four or more for 20% off. And that link is in the caption of my Facebook Live. If you're on TikTok, you can just message me for the link. What does my husband do for work? He works at a paper mill. Mm. Happy New Year from Jamestown, Tennessee. My skin is so dry. So, so dry. So, that rose water is part of the bundle deal this month. Or on sale. And so is this eye cream I'm about to use. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Melinda. I appreciate that, girl. I think this little um, eye cream applicator is part of the sale, too. I always get tons of questions about this. How was everybody's New Year's, y'all? Did anybody go and do anything fun, or did you guys just stay home like me? I went to bed at, like, 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'm not even... I don't know what was wrong with me last night, but I was absolutely exhausted. Why do I have a random chat book in here? Stayed home. I feel like a lot of people stayed home. You're you're hungover even though you're in bed by 10. I had a few drinks, but nothing like crazy. I do use an eye, um, eyelash serum. I just started using this lash serum that my injector sells. It's called Latisse. L-A-T-I. S-S-E, and it seems to be working really good. Went to bed early like usual. I hear you, girl. Okay. Uh, am I going to do... What am I going to do? I think for my lips to start off with, I'm going to do some of this Patrick Ta 
um, plumping, major volume plump, major volume plumping gloss in the shade Superficial. I tried this the other day. I actually really like this. So we're going to put this on before we do our makeup today. This is the only thing I have from Patrick Ta. I wanted to get some of his blush, but they were all sold out. All the colors that I wanted were sold out. I feel like I need to go blow my nose. What is happening? No, I'm not going anywhere. I just haven't been alive in forever. Okay. Do I need to shave my lip? It looks like I do. It's my little thing. Does it, Victoria? I haven't noticed it does that to me. But I haven't been using it real long. Okay. I think we got it all. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Um. Okay. Think, Tess. Oh. Primer. Well, I don't really need... I'm not going to do my super goop because obviously it's about to be nighttime. I'm going to do some of the unique illuminating primer. The CoverGirl Plump and Lip Gloss is good too. Oh, really, Jennifer? I've never used that one. I'll just always do a pump and a half of this. This is really good. Especially like putting makeup on in the evening when I know I don't need any SPF. This gives me a really good glow and I really love this under my foundation. And it's very hydrating. So, if you're anything like me... And you have a very dry skin. And you love that natural, like, glow from within. You're going to love this. Uh, this might be an ugly again. Bailey. Okay, so, um, I got everything off of the walls. I have so many different things going on right now, y'all. My house is a disaster. <laughs> because I've decided to go ahead and start on Summer's room. Because we're redecorating it for her for her birthday. And I've been taking my Christmas stuff down. So, my house is just like a train wreck. But, um, the only thing we've gotten done on Summer's room so far is I've taken the things off the walls. And sold them. Just to like get the clutter out of my house. Um... I completely forgot I had this energy drink right here, too. No, I don't ever plan on moving. But you don't ever know. Thank you, Kenna. Hey, Kate. Shar Shar's doing good. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm going to do some of this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Um, Victoria, I don't think you have to have a prescription for Latisse. Is that what you're talking about? I just, my injector um, sells it. Now, I don't know if you have to get it from like a medical spa. I'm not sure. Hey, Renee. Let's see. Old Bunny, what are you doing? Let's see. Um, do I need to mute her or block her? I'll mute her because I don't even know what she's been saying. Thank you, Melinda. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to go in with some of this Serum Plus foundation. So, I tried the House Labs foundation, and it was so beautiful. But I'm going to be completely honest, and I know y'all aren't going to believe me. Y'all are going to think I'm biased because, yes, I do promote Unique. I'm a brand ambassador for Unique. But those who know me in real life would know that I would not lie. I do not like the House Labs nowhere near as much as my Serum Plus. And let me tell you why. The House Labs is beautiful, and it's a very thin formula, but it's not near as hydrating as my, as this one. So, I think it's because I just have such dry skin, and I turned, I just turned 35 this year, so I have to have, you know, moisture, hydration, I need the skincare and stuff that's inside of it, so... I definitely don't think I'll be using the House Labs again. But I'm really sad about it because that thing was expensive. And now I'm probably just going to throw it away. 
or find somebody to give it to. I might give it to my mama. She might like it. But I think if you have more oily skin, you would probably really like the House Labs. But if you're like me and you have like more dry or mature skin, I don't think you would like it. But, you know, to each his own. But it's just hard to beat this one right here. I do like this foundation brush though from House Labs. It's really good. And it's very soft. So that's what I just applied with. But man, you just ain't got nothing on this foundation. Look how beautiful that is. So hydrating. It's like, it feels, it's very lightweight, just like the House Labs. Um, I've got to get a new brush holder. I don't know what happened, but I feel like my brushes are just exploding over here. Do you like the other products like their concealer? Um, I wasn't crazy about the House Labs concealer. I may have gotten too light of a shade. Maybe that's what my problem is. The Hourglass one's really good, but I still like Unique. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just used to Unique. But as for me and, like, my skin, I just, I don't know. I don't put it on my eyelids because the concealer that I use um, covers all that. I don't have to put it on my eyelids. Hey, Amber. Okay, I'm going to do the Skin Solution Concealer from Unique in the shade Scarlet. And the coverage on this and the ingredients that are in this, I just, I've yet to find a concealer that I love as much as that one. Like the House Labs one, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like terrible, but it's literally nothing compared to this one, in my opinion. My Halo Glow is shade medium four. And I forgot to dampen my beauty blender, so I just put some rose water on it. But look at the coverage of this. If you will go back and watch the video of me trying the House Labs and Hourglass, the coverage has nothing compared to this. You can, like, clearly see it. I like a full coverage coverage concealer because I feel like I most of my blemishes and most of the areas that I need coverage is around my eyes. So, I have to have a full coverage concealer. And I like my concealer to have... The skincare in it and the caffeine. Definitely. It's a must for me. So. This one's still my fave. Do I got something there or is that a freckle? Okay. It's definitely a freckle that I forgot that I had. But yeah. This, I mean. The proof's in the pudding. Look at that. I feel like my Facebook. Not Facebook. My TikTok live is very grainy looking for some reason. I don't think I've ever used that airspun powder. I need to try it. I've heard good things about it, but I've never used it. It's just hard for me to get past the Huda Beauty. It is just so good. Yeah, it's really grainy. I don't know what's going on. Don't know what's happening. Y'all know TikTok doesn't like for me to go live for whatever reason. My Facebook lives are always so much better than my TikTok. Don't understand it. Yeah. I feel very puffy. I have been eating like a wild hog. So, that's something I definitely need to work on this year. Portion control and moving more. What are y'all's kind of like goals for the new year? Do y'all set goals or no? Because that's definitely on top of the list for me. It was to eat better, move my body more, make healthier choices. I feel like that's everybody's. Alyssa, message me. I don't know the price right off my head. <laughs> yeah. I will never understand why my... TikTok Live is always so. The Halo Glow is um, like a. Um, I use it as like a base under my foundation. Some people do use it as a foundation though. It's a very lightweight foundation. 
Like, I would definitely, there's like little to no coverage. So. I have got another pimple popping up. What is going on? I like never get pimples and all of a sudden I'm getting all these pimples now. Okay, I'm going to do this pixie blush. I do have this linked in my TikTok shop. What did I do? Oh, I had it pushed up and it like, uh, I wonder if I should do this first or my bronzer. I think I need to do my bronzer first. Let me twist this back down. Can you twist it down? Can you only twist it up? Okay, I don't know. But I use this LYS bronzing stick. This is in the shade Harmony. Oh my goodness. You want to talk about something buttery? This is so good. I'm still trying to get used to it. But this is hands down the creamiest bronzing, like cream bronzer I have ever used. I do have this link in my TikTok shop and I have it linked in my TikTok live. Especially for $20, psh, so, so good. And I find that it works better when you do a brush. So I'm just gonna use that same um, foundation brush uh, that I used to blend out my foundation. This is the House Labs foundation brush, I believe. Yeah, and it is so good. And I'm not even like, I don't normally like cream products. This one, oh my gosh. It blends out so effortlessly, so beautifully. And I like it too because it's a warm tone. I do not like, like I don't necessarily like contour. I um like more of a bronze. Like a warm undertone. I don't really like the like grayish. You guys know what I'm talking about? The gray ones? What the hell am I trying to say? Gray undertone. We're not about that. Give you kind of like that pout. Yeah, go on. I came in here since you left. Me, are you already hey. done? Yeah, I told you what. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now, if I wouldn't have, and I would have been sitting there waiting on you, it would have took forever. Well, you look pretty. Really? You do. I have like lines all over my face. Right. What do you want? Hmm? I can't believe you're already done. You're never done this quick. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> right. But do y'all see how beautiful that bronzing stick is though? And most of the time it's on sale too. And, um, like I said, this is the shade Harmony. Harmony does sell out, uh, quite a bit. I wonder if I should have done this before my concealer. And I may have used a little too much. But I don't know. I'm thinking about getting the shade down. I might need to do that. But I think, I guess this kind of works when I, um... What am I trying to say? When I'm sunless tanned. And I am sunless tanned right now. So, I'm just going to kind of like smooth over the edges. My beauty blender. With my really dry beauty blender. <laughs> but it is. I, it's just. 
The blending is so easy. Yes, I do sunless tan. Okay, and then I'm going to do this Pixie on the Glow Blush in the shade Fleur. This stuff, so good. And I even like to put some right here, too. And then I just use my Beauty Blender and kind of... Is somebody here? And it's it's gorgeous. And I was worried that I wouldn't like that stick. I was worried that it would be like sticky, but it's not. It's really pretty. Okay. And I think this would be really pretty on your lips too. Okay, let's go ahead and set. Before I set, I like to go in and just make sure that I have the least amount of creasing under my eyes as possible. And then I go in and set. So, I take Huda Beauty in the shade Sugar Cookie. And I use that to set the inside, like the inside corners of my eyes. Yeah, Jessie, it's so annoying. Like, seriously? Now, if I would have been sitting out there waiting on him, he wouldn't have been done that quick. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to use this. Base, base. Maybe I'm going to use this one. I try to use, like, a smaller blush, brush for, like, the inside. And then I do use that lighter shade, like, on my lid. This is the Huda Beauty Face Bake and Blend brush. I got this on their um, Black Friday sale. And then over here, we're just going to do a little... Kind of almost like a what do they call it? Cut crease. And then we will dust it off with my powder. Okay. And then for the rest, I'm going to do that same setting powder but in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake, that light pink one, um, it's from Huda Beauty. You can get this from the Huda Beauty website or Sephora. I don't think they have this brand at Ulta. That brush that I was using is from Huda Beauty. Okay, and then I'm going to use the Tapered Blusher Brush from Unique. And I'm going to go into that same setting powder, but I'm using the shade Cherry Blossom Cake, which is that really light baby pink one. Just gonna dust like the outside. Because I've already set those inner corners. And 
Look at the difference that powder makes. Is that not crazy? I know that this looks really harsh, but I haven't went in with my um, pressed powder yet. Okay. And then to kind of like set everything else and make everything blend in, I'm going to take my pressed powder foundation from Unique in the shade Taffeta. And this is what's going to kind of like just make everything blend more seamless. And it also gives me a little bit more coverage. And just makes everything look nice and smooth. I'll take it and dust that off. But it's still going to keep my under eyes nice and bright. And see, I'm not really like, I'm kind of like, what is it called? Stippling that into my skin. Look at that. No, I haven't got my hair done yet. My hair appointment is tomorrow. Thank goodness. The brush that I'm using is the It Cosmetics number 211 all over powder brush. This is a good brush to have. I've had that thing forever. Okay. Um, so let's do, I don't even think I really need to like set my bronzer. I'm telling y'all that stick, you barely have to use any powder bronzer on top, but I'm just going to do a little bit. Just to kind of set and just give me a little bit of glow. Because that is one thing about the LYS. It doesn't have any glow to it. So I'm just going to add it back with this uh, bronzer that I have that has the glow in it. And then we'll kind of like sculpt out our nose. Even though I don't really need it a whole lot. I really need to go blow my nose. I don't know what's going on right now. Underneath. I didn't really blend underneath very good on my lip. Okay, and then I am going to do a little bit of this. This is so good. This is so pigmented, though. You have to be very careful with this. I put it on, I was like, whoa. I just used the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And, like, it barely takes. Like, look at this. I have this linked in my TikTok shop. If you want a true Barbie pink blush that is very pigmented, this is what you need. Look at that. And it's a very, like, different consistency. Like, it's kind of scary at first when you're putting it on. You're like, oh, my God. But it just does so well over powder. I was very shook when I used this for the first time. I was like, okay, that did not go exactly. That did not go how I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to, like, take my makeup off. That's why I was scared to use it. But it definitely doesn't. It's very good. And I love the color of it. Big Ego Maracuja Juicy Blush. And like I said, I have it linked in my life. Okay. And then this highlighter from Rare Beauty. Gorgeous. I'm going to use the same brush. I need to get a highlighter blush. Brush. Charlotte's doing way better. Yay! Michaela, that setting powder is so good. Okay. So, this is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Not gorgeous. Very pigmented. Look at that. I mean, it's just like, boom. Do some right here. Under my brows. I love it. 
and then right here. So pretty. Look at that. It's like the perfect amount of sheen. And I am, I have this little powder puff thing. I think I am going to take this and just go into a little bit more of that sugar cookie. And use this to kind of like the side of this. Just to sharpen that up a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and set. I'm going to set with this Unique Touch Behold Prime and Set Mist. Love that setting mist. So good. Oh, Jackie, I love that. I love patience. I also have this. What is this called? Color Changing Lip and Cheek Balm, Fanty Creations. I haven't even tried this yet. I forgot I had that. I need to try that one day. Okay. Um, let's do these brows. I have so much stuff, like, sitting in front of me right now. I'm going to do the Unique Moosher Precision Brow Liner in the shade Medium. Hey there. I'm not going anywhere, y'all. Devin went to go work out, so I decided to come in here because I haven't been live in forever, and then he was, like, quick about it, which never happens. Um, I feel like I need to kind of blend this out a little bit more. Looks very harsh right here. There we go. Um, the highlighter I used was the Rare Beauty... In the shade Mesmerize. So gorgeous. And this is just my brow liner from Unique. I don't have to do a ton of this anymore because my brows are microbladed. I just have to kind of like go over them and Brush them up because when I put makeup on, it just kind of goes on them and kind of fades them out. So I just have to kind of bring them back out with a brow liner. I am getting back blonde tomorrow. I cannot wait. I'm really excited because I thought my hair appointment was actually Wednesday. So, when I got the reminder that it was tomorrow, I was like, thank goodness. Because I'm so over my hair right now. Ooh, and a little bit more of an arch. There we go. Yes. I'm going to go back as long as I can without it killing my hair. So, I'm starting back the process. I'm just going to do this Wet n' Wild Color Icon Multi-Stick in the shade Mother of Pearl. I love that right there. And then I'm going to do some of this Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Okay. 
This is like a little travel size thing that I bought. I need to get, I want the fluff up brow one, but I haven't been back to Ulta yet in a while. Oh, Sarah, it took me a minute to bounce back from the flu. That stuff put me down. Yeah, there was no bouncing. There was no bouncing back from the flu for me. That was rough. We're not going anywhere. I didn't even go nowhere last night, y'all. I had all these fun plans that we were going to go and do. And at the last minute, I told my friend, I'm like, can we just order pizza? Because Devin had to work. I'm like, can we just order <laughs> order pizza and stay home? And of course, she was fine with that. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh -uh. I don't think I'll be going back to her for a minute. Because... This kind of did me in. I haven't went dark in, I don't even know how long. I'm just going to do bronzer in my, I feel like I haven't worn makeup in forever. I probably could have done that bronzing stick on my eyes, too. But I kind of forgot. Oh, no, Caitlin. I hope you feel better. What's for dinner? I don't know because we had a really light lunch. Devin grilled some burgers. When he woke up, so. I can't even think about dinner right now. What are y'all having for dinner? Am I the only person that does that? We always seem to do that, like eat a late lunch. Especially if I drink a coffee in the morning. And like we sleep in. I know when school starts back, me and the kids are going to be struggling. Because we have had, like, no routine at all. So, we are not going to be okay. Um, then I think I'm just going to do a little shimmer. Oh, no, you had uh, the flu on Thanksgiving? Oh, my gosh. It's awful. Thank you for the gift. Okay, and then I'm going to do, I'm just going to do brown in my waterline. Okay, and then I'm waiting on my dang new mascaras to come in. They need to hurry up. Yeah, Charlotte's doing good, thank goodness. Um, and I have not been giving her any more human food. I think that I think I did that and made her sick. I gave her a few of my Chick Fil A fries, and I'm wondering if that's what. Like I didn't, we didn't ever give her like a ton of human food, but. I do every now and again give her like a little fry or, you know, something small. But, of course, she's really small. So, I'm thinking it was my fault, definitely. That or she ate something like off the floor that she wasn't supposed to. Who knows? But we have not been giving her any, um, like powder all over me, any human food. Okay, I'm going to do some of this Unique Moostruck Epic Mascara. I've been liking this again here lately. Oh, no, Nicole, you got to go back tomorrow? I'm not necessarily excited to go back to waking up early again, but I'm excited about being in a routine again because when the kids are out of school, y'all, it's just like we have no routine. So, I'm ready to... Have that routine back, if that makes sense. I 
I forgot how much I like this mascara. I used it the other day and I was like, oh yeah. This is good stuff. Oh no, he threw up fries. Yeah. I'm gonna have, and Charlotte loves Slim Gems. I'm gonna have to find her the equivalent, like a dog treat that's the equivalent to a Slim Gem, because that is her favorite. She loves Slim Jim so much that, like, when you open it, like, when you come out of the pantry and you have one, like, she instantly knows when you start opening it. She is very smart. Thank you, Sherry. If you want the bronzer, it's linked in my um, TikTok storefront. Jennifer, this is the Unique Mood Struck Epic. If you want the link, um, message me. I forgot how much. I haven't used this mascara in quite some time. And for whatever reason, I used it the other day. And I was like, oh my gosh. I forgot how much I love this wand. This used to be my ride or die. Now, I work from home. I do this uh, full time. Oh, Roy has some, Sherry. Okay, I have to look. Next time I go to Walmart, I need to go run and get some cat food. Who else has cats that eat all day long? Like, I swear that's all my cats do or is eat. And it's Phoebe. And you can't just not feed her because she'll literally tear the house apart. Like, she is psycho. But then she's also my cat that walks around throwing up. But she's always the one that's hungry. Okay. Let me show you guys this lip combo real quick. That is my new favorite. And then we're going to be all done. Um, after I knock literally everything over. <sighs> Mercy. But I do like that Patrick Ta lip gloss that I put on. It's the Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Gloss in the shade Superficial. This is really pretty, and I really like this on my lips. And I definitely have some plumpness going on, so this is very good. I'm not able to link that, though. But I have been loving this lip combo. And I'm not even going to do any lip liner with it. I'm just going to show y'all what this does by itself. So, this is the, again, on my TikTok live, I have this linked. It's the Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream from Tarte. And this is the shade Grace. It's such a pretty color. It's like a perfect nude. Okay, and then I go back over it with the Tarte um, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump Gloss in the shade Desert Rose. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Y'all wait. Okay, let me not get a hair in it. Why do I have a hair? On me. Ooh, I see it. Oh my god, that was a really long one. Gross. Look at how stinking beautiful that is. It is the perfect nude.
Isn't that gorgeous? Like I said, I have both of these linked. Yes, these two together. Um, I wouldn't say it's sticky. It's like very hydrating and very glossy, but I don't feel like, you know how like you put something on that's very sticky and it's like uncomfortable? It's not like that at all. This is like the most perfect nude lip combo. But um, that is it. Oh, God. I'm going to go spend a little bit of time with Devin before he has to leave to go to work. Um, but I just wanted to hop on and say hey and do a little bit of makeup with y'all because, like I said, I haven't been live in forever. But let me know if you guys have any questions about any products that I used. Um, again, the LYS stick is in my TikTok storefront. Um, that blush that I used, the Big Ego from Tarte Maracuja Juicy Blush. The lip combo that I used and the um, Pixie on the Glow Blush. I love these. But um, if you have any questions about Unique, like I said, the rose water I use, the eye cream is part of the sale, the Uplift Beauty Oil, um, the eye mask is on sale. So many good skincare items right now are part of that sale. So um, I am going to be going live in the morning before I go and get my hair done because it's just a rule. Before I go get my hair done, I always put makeup on because if I don't have my face on, I'm not going to like my hair. No matter what, no matter what she does to my hair. So, I'm definitely going to be um, hopping on and doing some makeup in the morning. But, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.